hello and welcome to another video on the mobile made simple youtube channel and today it's another video regarding the galaxy z fold 2 but it's a bit of a different one so there is currently a process on reddit to actually use two different launchers so you can use something like nova launcher on the inside on the main screen and then a different launcher on the front the benefit to this is obviously you can use Nova Launcher when it's in tablet mode without having everything cramped on the front screen. It's still not 100% perfect, but I do think it's good enough now for daily use. So I will link all the instructions in the comments, but I'll show you how it works. So we open up, firstly, this is my Nova Launcher setup. It's quite similar to the one I had before on uh, the channel, but obviously this is Nova Launcher, not the Samsung Launcher. But then as we close, it should automatically default to a Niagara launcher. See, there was a split second there where it changed, but then it has gone to a Niagara launcher. Now this one's good on the front just because it gives you your applications in alphabetical order. Unfortunately, there's still no way to remove this up here where it says users home. Um, you can set it as home and then change the launcher in the settings, but after a few hours that, that does come back. I did actually email the developer regarding this and he said he may look at changing it in the future but for now that's how it is so again we've got Niagara launcher there if we unfold it should open up to Nova launcher there you go so you can see it is quite seamless so there we go Niagara launcher open up and i'm not actually swiping up or anything to do this and like it has improved a lot since it was first posted so the credit for this goes to a Reddit user, Waylaid Wanderer. So it was his Tasker profile that's being used here. So I will put all the instructions on the website and in the description, but I'll show you a brief overview. So what you'll need to do first is go into the Play Store. First you download Tasker, install this, and then you'll need to install Auto Tools which is an add-on for Tasker, so you need to install this. And then obviously install the two launchers you want to set up. Now what I would do is you'll be on the Samsung launcher at first, but I'd open up Nova Launcher, set it up as you want it. Open up uh, the other launchers, set up that as you want it, etc. And then take that from there. And once that's set up, so you'll download the file which is Waylide Wanderer's profile that I'll put in the description on the instructions. So you download that and you'll open Tasker. So you open Tasker, and then what you'll do first is go to Data, Restore, Use a Local Backup, and then you'll choose the file that you've downloaded. So once you've done that, that'll put the profile into here, into Tasker. And then you'll see it like this where it'll say profiles, display unfolded, etc. You don't need to touch anything here. What you'll need to do is press on the bars tab. And then you can see here it's got folded launcher, bitpick.launcher, and unfolded launcher. That one's Nova. So to get these names, I used an application called Applications Info. So once again, you can download this from the Play Store. So with this one, so you'll go down and find. Nova Launcher, it's in here. So Nova Launcher, and you can see underneath Nova Launcher it says com .tesla -coil sw launcher. So it's this name that you put into the Tasker tab. So that com .tesla -coil sw launcher, that's the one you put into the the VARS tab. So obviously folded is on your smaller screen, unfolded is on your tablet screen. So once that's set up. The next thing I would do first is give, give ADB authorization to Tasker. So again, look in the instructions down below in the description or on the website, and I will write in there how to do that. And um, so you, you will need a computer for that step. And then once you give ADB rights to Tasker, then you're good to proceed. Um, also, what you'll also need to do is when you first open Tasker, it'll ask for a lot of permissions. It'll say like draw over of wraps, accessibility um, permissions and them sort of things. Just grant all of that. So then once that's all done and you've set the names here, then you go into settings, apps, click the three dots at the top and press default app. And the way it says home app, you'll want this set to auto tools. 
And this is the app that links with Tasker to actually set your launcher depending on the screen. So yeah, this can be a little complicated, um, but yeah, I think it is worth doing. Because as you can see the benefit of this, I've got the Borelles icon pack in the app drawer. I'm using Lines X on the folders with a dark wallpaper. So you, you obviously get the options of using all these different icon packs and that the Nova Launcher gives you. And then as soon as we close, straight back to Niagara Launcher. And you can see when it works, it works just as well as the Samsung Launcher. You may get that occasionally if you see there where it just throws. If it does do that, you just swipe up and it will go back to Nova, but, but it doesn't happen very often. So I'll just try it again, Niagara, open, back to Nova. So you may get the slight hiccup, but I've been using it like this now for about a week and haven't had any issues. So I will put all the instructions in the description. I'll try and make it as easy as possible. Obviously, I know I've just skimmed over it in the video, but I wanted to give you a rough idea. And in the description, I'll put the full instructions. Obviously, if you do get stuck with any of this, then just uh, drop me a message in the comments and I'll try and assist. And as, and as I said earlier, uh, the profile is thanks to Waylaid Wanderer on Reddit, who came up with this this great um, profile. Yeah, once again, thanks for watching.